tonight on the Eugenie Show, we are talking all about the Acolyte. What are our favorite moments of the season so far? Why are people being so mean about it? Who are our favorite characters? And what does Charles want to do every time he plays a video game? Like the video, subscribe if you haven't. Enjoy the show. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Eutini Show, a show that is about Star Wars. That's right, everybody. Um, it's me. It's Eric. It's Corey. It's Charles and Wes. And y'all, we have heard your feedback and your wants and your desires. And we're talking about Star Wars once again. Um, if this is your first episode with us, hello. That made no sense to you. But uh, we did a little bit of time where we we're talking about all kinds of stuff on this show. And you know what? We had a thought. We had to think. We took some weeks and we are ready to dive all the way back into loving our favorite galaxy far, far away. And I don't think there's any better way to do that than to start off with the most, let's see, completely beloved, non-controversial, mellow uh, coverage of The Acolyte, the current show uh, running on Disney+. Plus. So tonight we're going to talk about the show. We're going to address a little bit of the wider conversation around it and what we're loving about it because that's the vibe you get from us. Um, before we do that, though, uh, hi, guys. We took a couple weeks off. Hello. We did take some Hello. weeks off. We, uh, mm-hmm. we did some thinking. Thinking yeah. about stuff. <laughs> we didn't think about stuff. You know, before we thought about stuff on this show, we were just talking about stuff. But now we're right. talking about other stuff, and that stuff is Star Wars. And uh, it feels good, honestly. Yeah. Honestly. I mean, we, we had a lot of conversations with some folks. Uh, Discord, that was fun. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. talked in Discord with some of our folks, and uh, everybody was pretty universal and like, yeah, we would love to talk about Star Wars some more. And we had the conversation of maybe we should talk about Star Wars some more. So here we are. Absolutely. So we're going to be doing that a lot more. <laughs> now, for those of you that loved our canon book coverage back in the day, we're going to hit probably canon books here and there, but we will not be doing the round tables that we used to. That being said, I do want to remind you all, if you don't know, that there is a canon book podcast in our pipeline. That's a lot of plosives in that one sentence. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. We're going to be uh, beta testing that pretty soon internally. Uh, so stay tuned, and the Canon Book Talk is going to be coming back on another Utini feed, and we will let you know when that happens. That's right. But to start off, guys, The Acolyte. So at time of recording, uh, this is the night when the fourth episode is going to air, so we've not seen that yet, so just keep in mind that if anyone dies, skip that part of the conversation, because, sorry, we didn't know. That's right. Um, but I, I want to start off just with the, <laughs> with, the, with the elephant in the room, if you will, about this show, because then we can get past it and just talk about it. Um, this show has been very controversial because of a specific group of folks who are usually the culprits of how this all works. But more than any other show in Star Wars, I looked this up before we started, it has been review bombed to negative scores more than any other. I think it's at like a 15 or 16% on oh, Rotten wow. Tomatoes right now, user scores. And it in again, this stuff's never in good faith as is. And a lot of our audience, y'all know this, but like, what is it? Is it as simple that this show is, is more women and people of color based? Is it the woke? Still, like, what is it about this show more than, I mean, anything else that Star Wars has done lately that is making people just so fervently angry? That's a good question. I think a large part of me, with every other time this has happened with Star Wars TV, there's been a large part of me that's been like, you know, because we talked about it in previous shows, too, that, like, you know, this show was was bombed and well it's because people are racist or hateful or like mm-hmm. with Kenobi. Having with Kenobi big time. Oh yeah, with Reva. With, with Reva. Yeah. yeah. And all that stuff. And even the actors came out and talked about racism yeah. and stuff. You and McGregor had to make a video in his car yeah, right, about right, right. that. I remember yeah. Being exactly. like, hey So part stop. of me even in the midst of all that, part of me has been like, no, that can't be the only reason. Like everybody that mm-hmm. that hates the show, like that's not the only reason to dislike the show if you didn't like something yeah. or the other. But like ah. like it's hard to argue that with this one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a little more hard to argue it because like I don't. I don't think it's in the same category as no. like Kenobi or Mando. I mean, it's yeah. The show is good. The writing is good. Like, yeah. and the comments have even like on our. So we've been. I've been seeing a lot of comments on, on our covers. We've been covering it on the YouTube channel with main videos and a lot of shorts that we've been together. And the shorts comments. I don't know if you guys have seen because I, I I monitor those a little bit. They have said like, "Won't watch this trash. Why won't they put a white man back in? They know their yeah. audience are men. Yeah. Like they're those the, the are gloves out. are off now." The, they're saying the quiet part out, out loud. Exactly. Yeah, which is yeah. really weird. Those, those people are out there. The other thing that's interesting is how much hate there was before it even came out. That's I mean, like, yeah, for sure. Yeah. There's yeah. not that much that's even out right now. Like, no. I, I would even say, like, even though I'll say I'm, like, enjoying myself, I, I don't know that I can say that 
I love the show or not yet. There, there hasn't been enough. It's three like, episodes, how are these people three, coming out and saying eight. they hate it? No, but the, yeah. the trailers right. got like crazy like dislike ratio. Yeah. yeah. Like back yeah. then. It's like, yeah. Okay, there's something going on here. It's hard not yeah. to hard not to see it, I guess, now. Yeah. Yeah. And and I think I, w- I was thinking about this this week because it, it is obviously so disingenuous and so not in good faith that, he, uh, to put it bluntly, like Disney, they know, right? Like, I feel like there, there are some parts where, we accuse them of of maybe reacting to this crowd in the past of like, oh, maybe we Kenobi won't get renewed because of this, or, or maybe we will, you know, kowtow to the the angry voices and go back. And I was a little worried about that. I'll be honest, this is so over the top that it's like there's no way this is actually data that they that they're gonna right, use. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like they've gone past it. When's the last time you let Rotten Tomatoes decide something about your day? I mean, just <laughs> Not not way too often. Not trying to hate on them in particular, <laughs> I, no, but no. like it literally seeing a Rotten Tomato score to me, <laughs> it means absolutely nothing. Yeah, absolutely nothing. And like YouTube comments or whatever, it's like ridiculous. I I did not know that there was this much backlash um, on the accolade. I've heard like stirrings of it, but I never, I didn't go like look for it. Um, I think like is the minority the most vocal about this and then they just want to be heard and they want somebody to agree with them and they yeah. just keep going back and forth like what yeah. the hell is a review bomb is like like is that like you get a you just try to get everybody on your side to just bash the reviews so the reviews look like shit that's exactly that, it you just that's try, exactly you try, it you try to okay. make your opinion mm-hmm. seem like more than just your yeah. opinion you try to make it seem like public opinion yeah like star wars theory put out a video and he titled it like the accolade is finally uniting star wars again because it's all these people. It, it is the like, we did it. Look what we've done. Like they they laud each other on Reddit and stuff about being like, guys, look at what we did. And then in the YouTube comments on the official Star yeah. Wars channel, it's like, did you see your score? Like they want the validation of the thing that they hate, <laughs> which is That's so, so weird. weird. Those people don't Why is that? I wouldn't even. How is that more <laughs> important to, than enjoying it? You TV know what they could have done with their time? They could have watched I mean, something else. Yeah. yeah. Rather it's just than like, like the movies they say they love. love. Like, just watch Friends of the Sith, man. Yeah. It's still Go good. Go for it. It's, it's just still like, good. It's just like that's not, I mean, it's not even about the show anymore. It's about no. something else. It's like now they're just pursuing psychology of feeling validated. Not yeah. Even yeah. the show anymore. I, I just don't understand. What, the, what is the point then? Like, can't you do yeah. that like with politics or yep. with? I don't know. Yes, literally, and they, literally they anything. Probably do that uh, it's, probably well. Well, it's probably true. It's probably true. I saw the same people. I saw an interesting point. Um, I forgot it was a gaming journalist. They wrote something on Twitter that was an article about because uh, this happens in gaming as well sometimes about like you know the the emergence of cozy games or indie games or games for girls or or why does like why do these games not look like me anymore? Why does Dragon Age have all these pansexual like there's this all this stuff from people that are like the games when I was young were the real games and and I saw this really interesting quote about like, it's not so much that you hate the wokeness or whatever you think you do. It's that when you were 12 or 13, all these looked like you invalidated you and you felt like the center of the universe. And that felt great. And now that it's expanded, no one's the center of the universe anymore, but you want that. And now you're angry that you're not feeling that way. So you're going to be angry at other people that you thought took it away from you. And I think it's interesting of like, if you were Luke as a kid or Han like or Leia, you're like, okay, great. That was awesome. That must be entirely unconscious. I mean, surely. I compl- Yeah, absolutely. No, I think it is. I think it is like, you don't, even, I don't think anyone, except for like maybe Elon Musk, wakes up in the morning like, I'm the center of the universe. <laughs> like, this is me. It all goes. But like, <laughs> Elon Musk. But, but there is a level of like, you know, no, I'm just a person. But, yeah. but there might be that sense of loss of identity. But regardless of what it is. It's really sad. Honestly. It is. It is. It's sad. It's really sad. It's, like, it's that, sad and it's, humorous together for me. It is. It's sad that there are people that, really want their entire identity wrapped up in in disliking something. That just yeah. seems to me like it takes so much more energy yeah. than it would just, just to They comment so on. much. Yeah, like the it's, like, it's, like I, it's chronically online yeah. type of vibe and energy and yeah. I I'm kind of with you Wes too actually. I didn't realize it was nearly as bad as it as it is and has been and <clears> since <throat> uh you know I I recently kind of like did the cliche thing of deleting a bunch of social media and it, it sort of coincidentally happened at the same time as the show came out and i was like i'm having a great time but people in our slack were popping in and being like man i'm so sad everyone hates the yeah. acolyte i'm just like really i didn't know that <laughs> it's so 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, ignorance is truly bliss, honestly. Yeah, yeah honestly. it is. Yeah. It's and nice to be ignorant every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> Especially about something so high. Yeah, who had the right idea? Who's that? Old Ben Kenobi. Old, Old Ben, gets go in the Kenobi. desert. That's right. Let's go Get in the hut, desert. Go out in the desert. Get yeah. cable. You did Get cable. This, but other than that. You did this with uh, Ahsoka. Yes, I did. As well. And, and, uh, I had, and I had a much favorable, <laughs> more favorable view, I think, than the average person because yeah. of it. I think you. I think you can certainly have still a good experience online. You know, yeah. our, our community is a is a good highlight of that. Yep, like, exactly. I mean, yeah, you know, we create this catered experience. So many good Discord people. and everything, and like, you know, you can still have a good time. You have to block so many people. You have to be yep. super liberal with the block button. And yeah, that sucks. Don't and, feel bad about it. And it's like, but it is interesting that once you get to that point, that's all they want. Like my my I my, I remember my moment in Acolyte where it turned from this might bum me out to this is hilarious. I don't care anymore. And it was, I, I commented on the official Star Wars channel put out a clip and it looked really cool. And I was like, I think it was of uh, an upcoming tease of like Master Soul fighting the, the Sith. And I'm like, I can't wait for this fight. I just commented. I'm like, that looks really cool. And it wasn't like a crazy high upvoted comment or something. But like a day later, someone responded to my comment that was like, oh yeah, I found the Disney bot woke. I'm like, you clicked on a video <laughs> for what? something you don't like scrolled down to find my comment, which was not high, hit reply. Like there were so many steps of like that took you longer to find me than it took me to comment. Like, do you think that their day is spent way longer doing this? Do you think <laughs> you think that a lot of these are bots, actually? Some some definitely are. I mean, there was all that stuff about like, like apparently it's well documented that like the Russians were interfering in like the election campaign. Oh yeah, and stuff. And like, did you see the? Uh, apparently, Russia didn't pay some of their ChatGPT stuff, and a lot of the bots on Twitter started acting very erratically because they they lost some programming. Interesting. Like that's definitely that that is absolutely part saying. of it. But it just seems like it seems like low hanging fruit to be yeah. able to comment on stuff and say everything is woke and anti. And yep. I don't know. That's in the same category of like, like the MAGA stuff. And, yeah. In a lot of ways. So. Yeah. I don't know. Is it actually real? I don't know. None of my, all my friends like it. So yeah, yeah. I don't really care what anybody else no. thinks. Great, great <laughs> transition because now, all that being said, if that's affecting you, like Corey said, mute, block, let the show be the show. If you want to be like Ben Kenobi, like Charles, and totally get away from it, that's great. But you don't have to. It's not your fault. The show itself. Um, this is not. We're not going to go super deep into like plot points and stuff. That's our bounty hunt podcast, uh, which we'll tell you about a little bit later in the show in more detail. Um, they do a great job with that weekly on episode deep dives. If you like. For us, though, guys, we haven't talked a ton off air yeah. about the show. Um, we're I'm all, we're all up to date. That's a, that's yes, a fun. That's all, a fun we've fact. all watched it. We've, <laughs> we've all, all watched, watched it. The we, same have, amount. we have. You watched we it. have. We have three each episodes. Other we've yeah, I did say there were two episodes before we started. This. I know there. <laughs> Me and Eric looked at each other. and We're like, like Charles, bro, three episodes. Did he? Like, and he's like, Oh yeah, there were three episodes. Yeah, the double premiere. Oh, double premiere threw you off. Yeah, for sure. um, <laughs> guys, I'm I'm really liking the show. I'm I'm having. It's a fun. really great time with it, and not in the way where I have to, I've had to do any kind of. Well, it's Star Wars, so I have to do this. Like I'm enjoying the making of the show, and I think that I'm. These are all new characters, and I'm getting a similar vibe that I did when the Higher Public started in the books of like, oh my god, it's it's not tied to anything. Anything can happen with any of them, and I think they're all inhabiting their characters. And as cliche as it sounds. They all look like they're really having a great time making it. Like it, it yeah, feels I've really authentically the well made the stuff for sure. Um, yeah, there's been, there's been a lot of it. Yeah, no, I, I'm enjoying the show uh, a lot actually. I mean, I think it's a lot of fun. It's cool. it's awesome to see lightsabers again. Like they're so fun. <laughs> I know it's just guys. I love lightsabers. Yeah, yeah, and I um, take. I'm just I'm just having a good time. I, I don't know how else to say it. Like it's it's just the show feels it's well written. The mm -hmm. plot is good. Like the things that normally suck me out of a Star Wars TV show are not doing that this time, mm. right? And yeah. it's a mystery. Like yeah. it unfolds slowly. Who done it? Yeah, right. What about you? you what, Jedi back. Yeah, people were wrong, like looking for like we're not doing the bounty hunters. We're not doing um, like cartels, if you want to call them that. Mm -hmm. We're not doing any of that. We're doing Jedi now. So Jedi and. The acolyte is it Sith? Is it not? That's Something mystery there is pretty. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and like, who doesn't like the? I don't know. The Night Sisters. You would call them. They would say witches, but the witches. The origin yeah. of the Night Sisters, or I mean, what is it? You know, the, the, so that's the coven. Who doesn't like that? What are you gonna? Are you gonna go after them? Go after the show, and that is in there. Like it's dope. Are, I don't know. It's using dope. the Force as a different way. And yeah. I think it's super. I think it's super good. Yeah. that's why I was confused at why there was such backlash to this yeah. show already. And I was like, "It's three episodes in. 
sit down and relax. Watch Why don't I know what happens? Ones that come out, and then you can start <laughs> bitching, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's so cool because I think it's also doing that thing that they said they were going to do, which is like take an idea of the force and, and use a different lens. Because I, I was talking with a friend about um, that that third episode where we go where we see the the first flashback of the night where Osha and May get separated. And the things with uh, Mother Anasea and Mother Coral and all of them. And I was like, if this was a Clone Wars arc, this planet would have been told about as a dark side cult that Obi-Wan and Anakin and Ahsoka would have to go infiltrate and save children from. And I'm like, oh, that's yeah. that's what we're, we're watching a Clone Wars story, but from reverse. Yeah. And I'm now I'm like, well, what if we had done that for all of them? in the clone? Like, are, is that are we the baddies kind of thing? It's like, how are we the baddies? Poggle the lesser. He was he was that guy, dude. He's clocking he was in a good and out. guy all along. Yeah. But Apollo the Greater, you know, really. Yeah, why is he got to be? Why he got to be the lesser? Is that a Jedi name? <laughs> they just call him that. Uh, what about you, Charles? You said you were enjoying. How do you like? I know you say you like may not know until the end of the series. Brave take of waiting for something to finish. I mean, yeah, but... I'm reserving judgment, but thus far I've had a very good time with it. I think that you know we, uh, in in full disclosure, did talk off air a little bit about this the other the other night and i said like any time that either osha or may is on screen i'm like glued to it like she is an incredible actress Man I Stenberg, rue yeah hunger games she's, baby she's incredible her yeah. and uh soul yeah that's true. okay yeah well, he's the like best characters man he's great yeah Did, didn't speak english before the show which is mind-boggling actually it's, yep. so, it's so funny seeing no him kidding? learned it yeah learned it, it in that's four true. months to do this show Holy crap, the hardest language you can learn yeah. you learn it in four months. And he's so <laughs> earnest. It's funny seeing him in a lot of the behind the scenes stuff because it looks like a lot of the behind the scenes it looks like it was filmed a while ago. Mm -hmm. And he like doesn't really know what's going on. No, <laughs> he's like, I'm happy to be it's here. Just like, sometimes they see, translate, uh, sometimes they don't. Did and you see just... Star Wars? The Star Wars YouTube channel has got a bunch of stuff. You need to go look at it. If you haven't seen this, go to Star Wars go to Star Wars.com or the YouTube channel and look at it. And uh have you, did you see the video they released? I think it was this week where they're like unboxing their black series figures. I yes. Dude. I love those videos so much. And he's in the background, just like, yeah. <laughs> well, and he's older. Like he, he's he, he's like he saw Star Wars like back in the day when it came over. So he's like, this it's it's so it's such a a different thing for him to see himself as a toy too. Because you know, yeah. he's been I think he's been acting in Korea for quite a while. But obviously, Squid Game was the thing that catapulted him for us. That's right. That's right. And like, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he's the main guy in Squid Game. I didn't and, watch it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's very good. Um, Leslie Headland was apparently watch, writing the scripts and was reading the character of Soul while watching Squid Game and was like, I think that's him. That's the guy. I think that's the guy. <laughs> also, great that's power to have to be like, hey, that guy, my team, can we, he be in my show? That's right. Done. Yeah. He could Make get your, the pick of the litter already. Yeah. yeah. I can call any answers okay, sure on the happen. screen. It's like, yeah, I'll be a star in the Uh Yeah. I want to double you on, um, not a man with Stenberg, though, because I was talking about like characters that have really, really hit me. She, the only the, one of the things I didn't love about the third episode was just that she wasn't in it. Was that I'm like it was totally main ocean story, but she is such an electric actress who apparently in that behind the scenes stuff was like she wrote sixty page backstories for her characters when she started. She uses different perfumes to change in different characters to activate her olfactory senses. Like she's so in it. She, I mean, she cosplayed as Padme when they announced it at Celebration. You know, like nice. She just seems so in it. I think she's very, very skilled in it. I will also say I'm a huge, um, I'm a huge Yord Horde guy. <laughs> How are I, you? I like Yord. I do. And I know he's been, he's dude, been I, side divisive. I, I, I'm going to get flamed for this. Do I it. hate Yord. I You're don't not like a Yord. Yord. Dude, he sucks. Oh, no. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Charles. Yes. Oh, God. Wait, Charles. We are Yord board. Over Yord here. board. <laughs> that's no, that's good. No, don't, Yord don't, board. don't, uh, don't use that. Oh my god. Okay, it's hashtag in the comments. Weird. Yord horde or yord board. We want to know. Yeah, that works. That works. Um, yeah, I'm I'm shocked that the wow. internet community has rallied her. Yeah, they love him. <laughs> rallied around they, yord. I, they are trying, in my opinion, trying to make him unlikable. Right? Yeah, oh like, yeah. yeah. It's intentional. Yeah. It's intentional. Yeah. But he and he like I love that like this entire show is very much cop coded. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> like, oh no, the Jedi are the cops. The Jedi are just the police. Yeah. Like straight with up. a little religion too. They're just <laughs> yes. like, that's who we are. It's, uh, so yes, yeah, so police. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> basically. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm new to living in the South, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. But yeah, no, he is. He's very much the by the book guy. And it's hilarious you say that, Charles specifically, because he kind of reminds me a little of young Obi Wan. Of like, <laughs> I thought you were going to say me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say that on camera. Um, no, of but, young no, Obi Wan. Yeah, he's um, like the by the books guy. But I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you the moment it. where, because I, I started out where, he, where he's like, you know, we're going on the mission and we have to do things by protocol. The moment where he got right. was the episode. Um, I think it was the second one, but the two episode premiere again. Who knows? Mm-hmm. I, they're all, they're all, it's all a story. Um, when they were going in to see uh, Master um, Torin after he had killed himself, and Osha was there over the body, and it's like, oh my god, she could have easily been framed, and yeah. like, I'm like, oh, I don't know how this story yeah, usually yeah, yeah. goes, but he was like, no, I was watching. Yeah, she, she's he's cool. Like, <laughs> no, he 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 goes by the book. But the book of like, no, I'm going to do what's right, though. Like, yeah. she's not that. And I it, mean, it would have been great if he came out and be like, yeah, she killed her. I, yes. I freaking saw her do it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Jedi cops planning evidence. You know what I mean? Like, like, I don't know. He's like, yeah, this, I, this I need to frisk you. And he walks over and he pulls a little baggie out of her yeah. pocket. What, like, is, what this? is this? What is this? It's spice. <laughs> Colon crystals. Um, he smells it. Yep. It's poison. He yeah. killed her. The guy that plays Torben. Uh, he's actually young, right? Yeah. He's like how he looked in the... In the yeah, flashback. His, his, the beard flashback. Was, his beard was weird. Dude, I yeah. was like, this guy... I Because yes. I did not know the actor <laughs> at all, yeah. and I didn't feel like Googling it, and I was just like, this guy doesn't look right. I don't know, I don't know what's he, happening. He was, in, he was in Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, Thrones he, yeah. Who did you play in um, Game of Thrones? Uh, Ta- Temin? No. Tom, uh, Dude, I don't Tom, know. Tomin? Temin? Dean, Dean Charles remember. Chapman is the guy's name. He's, he's Joffrey's younger brother. Mm. Okay. Um. Yeah, no, he's... Yeah, that was... That was probably my favorite moment so far. Was how weak ass that beard was. Dude, it was sucked. So stitched on there. It looked it like sucked. Spirit gummed like on my theater friends. The world police and how they <laughs> they they patched together all the hair on yeah. his face. That's what it looked like. It was Although, man, so bad. What a great gig so for him. Where he had a very much um, Obi Wan thing. Remember when the one show came out and we're like, so you're telling me Ewan McGregor goes from this to like alec guinness in like 10 years something like that uh-huh. this guy goes from little padawan boy to to gray hair mcspirit gum in 16 years <laughs> like <laughs> my guy what? is going <laughs> through it um, oh, although that yeah. meditation shield pretty useful that was dope that yeah. was awesome hey that was, that was maybe cool. stay in the shield I've seen something like that i thought that was super cool that was really, yeah, yeah. That, that, that was also I, I again, this is the golden age of the Jedi, right? This higher public stuff, and that's what I liked about the higher public books is when we can really go full on. That was my moment of like, oh no, this guy, this guy did achieve like grandmaster status, also pretty quick. He went from Padawan to master in less than sixteen it took years. The, what's the vow called? The, the vow, Barash the vow. vow of Bar- the, the Barash, Barash vow. vow. Yeah, vow. He took the. Barash oh, did he vow. actually yeah, take what's that? The story yeah. Behind- this is in the What's High the Republic. Story behind the the meditation force field. Yeah, is that the first time that we've seen that, or is that like? Because that's I've never, a good question. I literally I have, I have, no, I I have no memory of that. I've read a lot of books. I have yeah. no memory of yeah. that ever being a thing. Yeah. And we've never seen that from... Right, is the Barash Vow described as that? I don't think so. No, no. So the Barash Vow is just basically putting yourself in exile away from the Jedi. Not, not using the Force. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought at all. That's right. I thought it was. Yeah. But he was using the Force. But Porter Angle's sister right, it says Barash. didn't Wikipedia it get introduced says, in the vader comic it did it did yeah, yeah, vader comic. it was introduced in vader comic it says it says uh hmm. an oath taken by jedi who completely refrained from all activities related to the jedi order as a form of pit- penitence so you say that disengaging from anything but the force itself mm. oh okay, okay. so it's okay. kind of like a little bit it's like a way seeker bone it's more. like it's like you're on hold with with like like a call center <laughs> but instead of the call center it's the force and this is constant yeah, so you're like, I'm just, I'm always in the forest, but not with the Jedi. Do you think they hear a little? Da, 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 no. Da, 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 da. Is that why he <laughs> no. killed himself? He's like, I can't yeah. do it anymore. <laughs> it's been 10 years. Exactly. Exactly. There's a picture of him on the Wikipedia page. I was doing this little meditation. Oh, yeah. I mean, I assume they brought that up. Like, that's, cause again, it, it's been in. It's pretty cool. This is one of the, this is one of the and, really, you know, go listen to Bounty Hunt. They really break down yeah. all the stuff. Uh, Jacob and Oz and JG really know their High Republic stuff, especially from the comics and everything. Um, but uh, yeah, this was one of the big obvious like call outs to High Republic. It was yeah. this, and there's there's one other big giant one that they mentioned. I think I can't remember what it was. Gosh, maybe I don't remember what it was. Right, right, like I'm like the entire show. Maybe it's just Indara. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, well, yeah, because Master <laughs> Indara, and then there's Indira Stokes, which are two different people, which is a little confusing. Yes, guys, I I get that sometimes we want to be clever. Just make them make the I names know, different. Yes, Correct. just just make the names different. Like yes. Also, Torben, and then there's Torben Buck, who's Buckets of Blood, who's a different species. That's a different person. 
Mm. Like, come on, guys. Come on. Yes. Um, I would like a little more than that. But Oh, okay. Here's another one. Hit me. Osha, and then May calls her Oshi. And all I can think of is Oshi from Best Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oshi. Yeah. I also had that thought. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, they're, they're running out of Star Wars names, apparently. They need to be used. They need to just pull out one of those. Uh, you ever, like, played a game and you need a name for your character? So you I, pull out, like, a Star Wars name generator? Yep. Or and this, shuffle, Are you one shuffle, of those shuffle, psychopaths shuffle, shuffle. that play as Charles every single time? I definitely time? play as Charles. <laughs> every time? Charles? Oh, my God. I knew he would. <laughs> for sure. I can see it. I can see it in your eyes. Since I said that. I, I am uh, putting myself in those universes, okay? I, I'm not there to be somebody else that, i'm there to I'm you there mean to be me escapism doing yeah you use video games for immersion not escapism so here here's a question for you <laughs> when you create your uh She's your, your person in like psychopath 2k or any sport game do you make yourself or do you make someone random oh in a sport game i make myself because i'm a human mm. okay so if why why elf, is it why is it different because i why is it different? So I don't Fundamentally, why is it different? Because my teammate is Charles and my elf companion is Lazario. Like, there's slightly different naming conventions. Okay. Sure. Also, in a fantasy sure. game, do you make a human? Or do you pick, like, a fantasy race? It depends. Do you play as a human versus, like, an elf or a dwarf Some, or something? Sometimes. I don't, I, I don't think if, I've ever chosen. If all, the, if all the sliders, like, when you go down the list, all the sliders, like, talking about, like, strength and dexterity, all that kind of stuff, if it's yeah. all straight in the middle and that's human, that's one you pick, isn't it? Perfectly balanced, maybe. Your second, maybe, man, Charles. <laughs> I, let me let me tell you something. I'm learning uh, a lot on air right now. Let me tell you something. What you're doing is uh, you're in the YouTube comments right now. I'm, I'm, okay. I am. You are I am actually review comments. bombing you right yeah, now. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, how about you enjoy your game how you want to, and I'll enjoy mine. How about that? Wow. Well. Mm. You see what I did there, I'm audience? You see <laughs> what I did there? <laughs> using a, using our own things against us. Um. So Charles that's... is actually walking out of here right now. I know you can't see it. It's <laughs> happening Come for back, you. Charles. Hey, get back in here. <laughs> Come back, Shane. <laughs> As for you, Wes. Um, so, obviously, some characters aside, not Charles's weird, realistic fantasy characters, mm -hmm. um, but the show characters aside, um, are there any other moments in the show so far that have really kind of piqued you guys' interest, that it, that it stood out as like, I I was on the edge of my seat. I, I haven't seen this in a while. Like, I got really happy because, like, I think it retroactively, I didn't realize after watching the first two episodes, I was quite literally on the edge of the couch just, like, beaming. And I didn't I, know why. I did not feel that way with the first two episodes. And maybe it was because we, I don't know, we were, like, actually chatting about them while they were, while they were going on still in Slack and stuff. Mm -hmm. But, like, the third episode had me like that. Really? Yeah, it really did, oh. which is... Which is kind of funny. I'm kind of surprised that I got so like sucked into that episode because like I mean, Mother Anasaya. Let's be real. Yes, let's, dude. Seriously, yeah. Mother Anasaya is an amazing character. Like, yeah. Her, her her makeup is phenomenal. Yep. The actress is phenomenal. Yep. You want to talk about captivating on screen, dude? Yeah, I cried when she cried when they were hugging and she uh, had the tears. She wiped it away, dude. That was man. I bl blew me away. That, she was she, she was mothering. She was mother was mother was mothering <laughs> was was. I thought it was going to be a mommy joke. No, I, uh, you missed I'm it. trying to be... Missed opportunity. No, no, yeah. I, this is the thing. This Mother is mothering is the thing, is the Gen Z. Mm. I'm stroking out actively as I say this repeatedly. It's nonsense words. I'm it sorry. It means nothing to me. <laughs> You're nothing to me. You're nothing. You're nothing to me. <laughs> uh, no, she was... She is... Amazing. Yeah, yeah. I, I love that. I love the whole episode. I was on, my, on the edge of my seat the whole time. The, the four stuff is amazing. Like, I don't know. I guess... I miss the four stuff. Mm. Honestly. Yeah. Like... Yeah, in Star Wars TV, it's been it's been missing. We got it a little bit with the Ahsoka TV show, but it felt like just Rebels. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. Ahsoka just felt like Rebels. Like, we haven't really gotten like the we we we've talked a little bit about our Ahsoka, maybe not on air actually, but our our Force stuff with Ahsoka and the training that may or may not be needed. Exactly, anymore. it's goofy. She never went. It's goofy. We're not gonna go there. Love what you love. Yes, but in in, in <laughs> Kenobi, the whole point is let's not use the force, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hide actively. The show. Yeah. Let's hide the show. And this is just like this is an exploration of force and Jedi and powers and yeah. lightsabers, and it's dope. And I'm here for it. And yeah, if you don't like this, what do you like? Like what's left? Yeah. Like yeah, they didn't like Andor, which was a masterpiece. They didn't like this show because it's lightsabers with and black people are in it. Like yep. what, what is there left yep. like, to like about star Wars? That's the point. That's the secret. They don't want to like star Wars. They don't like star Wars. They don't, but, no. but I'll tell Wars you is cool. some other stuff, uh, it. some other highlights for me, which are somewhat linked, I guess, but obviously the soul versus may fight. 
Oh, that I was mean, cool. Pretty incredible, especially how it ended with the like big. Dude, great dusting. move by her to the disappear. With that was pretty dusting. cool. That was uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender. Mm-hmm. It was a little yeah. airbendery. Yeah. And then the other thing, for some reason, really enjoyed the uh, the infiltration of the the alchemy shop or whatever it was. Where oh they yeah. Sent, they sent Ocean instead, yeah. and I don't know. I I found that very she's fun. Like, she's like, "Hi, hello." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're you're just thinking like, oh my god, she's so bad at undercover work. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I think that, that we we read about a lot, right? There's a lot of like, Jedi going undercover on missions and like mm-hmm. doing heists and stuff, but we really haven't seen that much of it yeah. on screen. And they, and they they shot it really well, like tracking her. And I, I always love when they they do little overlays of like the binox and stuff, and like mm-hmm. zooming in. It's always in 4K. You can see exactly who it is and like their body heat. Like, <laughs> I will oh, say, I, see her. <laughs> I will say that you're using the binoculars, being like ten feet away from them in the fight, was really weird. It was protocol. <laughs> it was. You really have to use bad. binoculars. <laughs> Did you guys catch that? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, he was like right there. Did you see this, Wes? You know what I'm talking about, dude. In the in the fight in the fight uh, with uh, with May and and Soul, like he's like up on a balcony. And yeah, he, and he has. The binoculars. He has the binoculars. Yeah. And the camera like zooms out, and he's like, like twenty feet away. Maybe, very he's, close. Like, maybe he's not looking maybe, at them at all. Maybe I mean, he's like watching something across the way. Maybe they just chose like a bad. Maybe it's also they could have chosen a bad. Maybe camera it's also lens. a recording device that he can take back to the Jedi, Jedi Council. Like, Look, like, good way. We can all do mental gymnastics <laughs> to explain it, but it looked weird. That's oh, what I'm saying. speaking <laughs> of stuff with Jordan technology, though, I also love when he's like, "I'm gonna use my stun gun," and oh, yeah, and Soul's like, "No, no, no." Osha's been trained as a Jedi. She'll know how to use it. Which had the big question of, are Jedi using guns? Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> did they also, just... she didn't know how to use it, or she missed on purpose. Oh, she missed on purpose, 100%. I don't really? know. Like, you I think she paused. Looked she she paused yeah. and looked at her, and then she like, looked, did the... She looked very angry. Purpose. I know. Purpose. That was purpose. 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 That was your sister. I have sister. a purpose. I have mixed feelings about it. I've seen it twice. Her head now, start. That's what uh, it was. That, yeah. yeah, there it is. The way I grew up with my siblings, I would stun her because it's my sister. That wouldn't be unstunned anymore, basically, is how that goes. Uh... Yeah, I love, I like that moment. My, my, my favorite thing also, I'm, I'm seeing a pattern here because I also love the moment with Soul. Um, he's just, he's, he's just Qui-Gon, but older, which I love. Um, the moment yeah. where they're in the, the snow cave and they're like rushing after Osha to like catch her for the first time. And she turns around and has a big moment of like, I didn't do it. Like her voice breaks a little bit, which is just heartbreaking. And then when she goes to fall and he saves her immediately. And then all of a sudden just brings her into a hug immediately. And he's just like, so clearly overjoyed and happy to like see his see his daughter again big it's literally big the fugitive vibes in that moment though oh yeah i didn't kill my wife i didn't kill my wife <laughs> oh my god i don't <laughs> care it's <laughs> such a good movie god jumps. Uh, han solo's in it it all counts that's, i've probably watched that movie yeah. more than almost any other non-star fugitive? wars movie really the yeah fugitive? In Dude, I've never heard you I say that. I love You've that. You've never movie. mentioned this. We've been friends for it is, it's six such, years. It's such a in the background movie while I'm doing work from home type. That's oh, I love it. Dude. I love it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, uh, mine's The Night's Tale. Also great. Of any also movie phenomenal. I've seen more than, even more than any other Star Wars movie, any other movie in history is A Night's Tale. I can go with that movie back to front. I have watched it. I can't even count how many times. I actually <laughs> watch Futurama every day of my life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wes, you're a movie guy. Yeah. What's your, what's, what's your, what's what's your Forrest Gump? Forrest, Forrest Gump. Gump. Forrest Gump. That's, I love you, Jenna. Forrest Gump. That's a long movie. I may yeah, not be smart, say. but I know what love is. That's why. That's why you can leave it on in the background, and you can just <laughs> it's pop it up. four and a half hours. Yeah. And You're like, oh hey, yeah, it's Kennedy. Sure to do. Yeah. <laughs> really long. What's your favorite part about Forrest Gump? What's your favorite section? <laughs> uh, the ping pong. The okay, ping I was gonna say it's ping pong and it starts. Yeah, that thing absolutely rips. The best part, absolutely. <laughs> you just like you just take the paddle and you just hit it like this. That's all you're gonna do. And he's just like, got it, no problem. And he just <laughs> takes the, like a duck in water, and yep. then he becomes a champion. And then he gets a letter sent to him that says from some fruit company, it was Apple, and then. They gave him a bunch of money. He said, we don't have to worry about money no more. <laughs> if you're on an audio, you can just see one Wes. less thing to worry about. Sorry, you yeah. gotta watch it. No, our audio listeners, you can see Wes's eyes just light up as he went into that part. It was, it was amazing. <laughs> um, here's what I, here's what I want to ask you guys. Look, look, looking ahead, like Forrest, if you will. Um, this show's been really interesting for me because... What? Not- <laughs> Hold on a minute. Forrest Gump looks into the future. It's a whole time. It's time-spanning. 
Does he? They're not all winning transitions, Corey. I don't think Forrest Gump travels in the future, my guy. You're thinking of That's So Raven. Oh, you're right. He actually actually (laughs) is telling a story about the past the entire time. (laughs) <laughs> like yeah. a long time ago in a galaxy far, far state. away, if you will. <laughs> kind of like that. I'll there give you go. that one. Let's bring it back around. I'll thanks, Wes. Hey, nice. Wes, thanks for the support. Thanks for the support. <laughs> um, looking ahead to the rest of the season of The Acolyte, because the stuff we talked about at the beginning of the show, this is going to keep going. But clearly, there's already a lot of stuff to love and a lot of stuff to reveal. Like, we haven't really seen before tonight, like a lot of Kelnaka, who's going to be mm-hmm. obviously another huge character played by uh, Jonas Suotomo. The Wookiee. It's going to be great. Big old Wookiee vibes. Yeah, he, he buzzed his head. He buzzed yeah, his head. Yeah, he what? does have a weird... A buzzed head. His head's oh, weird. Yeah, it's it's not weird. buzzed. It's something weird. It's something it's weird. A, it's shaved. We, talk, we talked it's a lot shaved. about he it a, recently. It is, like, kind of it is shaved, I think. Uh, right? yeah. No, I think it's like... Yeah. I think it's like... It's not shaved. It's <laughs> like uh, it's like matted or something. Like it's like a matte thing. Wait, the actor Google, or the Google Wookiee? I'm telling you, look this up online. Look up... You're holding an iPad. Look up Cal Nucka's head. All right, hold on. All right, Kel Naka's head. We got to figure Kel this Naka's out. Kel Naka's head is what I'm looking at. <laughs> Kel Naka's head. Also, I like how he he's wearing a tabard in part of it, which does imply in the first episode, he was just buck naked walking around. Like, he wears yeah, a sure. tabard, which means he <laughs> chooses to and to not wear clothes. Well, what are you going to do? We're seeing all the Kel Nakas. Yeah, okay. All right, pull that up. Here, here, Let's here, see. We, here we go. All right, so it's hard to see, but look Dude, at this. His hair is that is it's not, it's not shaved. No, it's that like look matted. at it. It's got like it's got like weave in it or something. His hair. Okay, it's, no, it's, it's, it's on a, the sides. It's on the buzzed. sides. It's, it's buzzed. Top yeah, knot, the top knot the sides, in the middle, yeah. but the sides are yeah. buzzed. He's not bald. Uh, I I don't, I don't think it's buzzed. I think it's, it's buzzed. I think it's his hair. It's buzzed like light. We're looking at the same picture you, and getting no. different. What are you looking at? Listen, I searched for Cal Naka's head, but that's clearly not the image I'm looking for. I've seen there's Careful. a there's a there's Careful. a Careful. Cal Naka safe search head. <laughs> safe search. <laughs> I'm about put to put get on some weird dance site. <laughs> like, and he went all the way around and he kept the bangs. What does Wookie he head look like? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> I thought no! you were serious. We're gonna go I back to the holiday serious. special no, and that weird a, VR thing. I was about to knock that iPod out of your uh, iPad <laughs> out of your hand and pay for a new one. <laughs> oh my god! There's a there's a side <laughs> shot. Where the hell is it? It's a side shot. I, not, it's all not. of this is bad. We're losing our ad revenue right now. No, no we're not. No, we're I'm not. looking at one right now. <laughs> oh my god! Dude, I don't think this is shaved. I don't think this is shaved. Rough, that is shaped. That is shaped. The top of it is shaped. All right. Uh, I might be wrong. He's, he's, I don't think it's shaped. He's, he's got a crossfade. His head, the head is too big for it to be shaved, I think. What? What? That's a, what? what does that even mean? Is there a maximum? Yeah. What do you mean the hair physics. just won't the cut? Physics, the point? physics don't check out. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. Like I don't the head is too big. I, said what, to cut I the hair? said what I said. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like he has some sort of like tattoo or design on the side of his head. Uh, I, I like want to see him wield a lightsaber Anyways. instead of a, a a wrench. I mean, dude, it's probably gonna happen. You think, in like you think that shit minutes. is shaved? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Not <laughs> only do I think it is, it is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like. I think she is wrong. All right. I guess we'll find right. out. Well, we'll find out tonight's episode. That one down. If there is a conversation yeah, in tonight's to episode, I hope I hope this gets released about his shaved head and no, not shaved dude. Head. I hope there's in the background he's actively just shaving his head. <laughs> Like, <laughs> like, just full on. That'd be amazing. May, With a lightsaber. May, May is gonna... Tiny, very thin, tiny lightsaber. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> 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 It'll look like... Uh, do you remember the thing that it's they real. almost cut off like yeah. Finn's head with in the in in uh, the Last Jedi? Uh, yeah, like yeah, the, axe, the little axe thing. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's like a safety oh, razor. Yeah. It's a little, <laughs> little vibrator. <laughs> axe. But those are the head by one. Listen, May is gonna stab him in the stomach, which she's gonna live for because live from because that is uh, now well established in canon that you can live from getting stabbed in the stomach, even yep. though that doesn't make any sense. She's gonna stab him in the stomach, <laughs> and he, and she's gonna be like, "Give me last words." He's gonna be like, "Did shape my ass." <laughs> I'm so glad we all waited with bated I mean, breath for that. God, to I was so was ready going. for it too. I'm like, we're, we're winding down. This is gonna be the meat of it, and then <sighs> nope, that's it. Um, there's something you have to know. Do you shave your ass? <laughs> I need to know. I need to find out. <laughs> One thing I want to ask you guys: mm-hmm. Can lock his shaved head aside, or maybe not? Mm-hmm. Um, does it feel he shaves the side? He shaves the side actively. He's, it's gonna happen on on screen. Yeah. Um. Does it actively feel like we're getting more like personal stories about the creators of the accolade than we have about 
maybe any of the shows since Mando season one. What do you mean? Like, so we got like a, a great video a couple oh, weeks ago. About, stuff. Yeah, but like a Mandela Stenberg uh, playing the violin to John Williams. Oh, that was score, awesome. Which, but like he he awesome. rewrote the score for the violin, for one violin for Hurley. They got John Williams to do that and did a fully produced video. It wasn't just like an Instagram story. It was like a fully mm. produced video about it. We got She's in a studio. That cost him a lot of money. Hit, yeah. Hayden like, Christensen's video. Yeah, that, that he talked to her like, I, and like their the the Jordan Horde Steam video, yeah. But but like that's at the Lucasfilm offices. Like they're actively doing things on set, and I feel like maybe it's because they didn't have to prove as much with the known character or something. But I feel like with the last couple shows, even with COVID aside, we didn't get this much active publicity from Lucasfilm, and I think it's something we've actually kind of been asking for for years. Yeah, I, I think they're. You think maybe they're trying to get away from Filoni a little bit? Maybe. Like, like maybe, like, like you can't just know who Dave is and watch the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, not even just like they want less felony, but more like they want to sort of start to hand the reins off a little bit more. Maybe I could see. I mean, that's what they're doing, kind right, of. They, I mean, he, well, uh, he's going to the to the movie. Obviously, who did Andor again? What's his name? Tony Gilroy. Tony Gilroy is like in. He's like in uh, like a loose, right? Like yeah, <laughs> like he doesn't want to do interviews. You want to no. talk. He doesn't want to talk to anybody. He just wants to make good stuff, yeah. right? And like yeah, and if he's talking to you, I he's, respect that. Yeah, dude, yeah he's me talking too. about the process exactly. And like so, they yeah, you know, he didn't want to do all this interviews behind the scenes stuff. But other than Tony Gilroy, who else has there been? Like this is yeah. kind of it, right? Well, I guess been, like, yeah, I guess yeah. like even like the actors though. I feel like we haven't gotten like we didn't see a ton of Sabine BTS like stuff. We did like these. TikToks now and then maybe, but I feel like there's just more intentionality. They have, mar- they have marketed promo. the absolute hell out of the show. Yeah, I, I see TV, toys. I see commercials there's every NBA toys. game now. Yes, like all the finals and stuff. There's yep. so many. The acolyte so on many. Disney Plus. Yeah, there's a lot. I think they're leaning just hard into this. Is the first time they've done Jedi and stuff like on on screen. That's a great point. I mean, we, yeah, we got like Ahsoka had it, but it's also like not really. There's one. This is like. I've I've seen that clip of them igniting eight sabers down the line yeah, we a million times. It's gonna be tonight. It might yeah. be. Maybe tonight. You said no. It's a prequel to the prequel. Prequel oh, yeah. to the prequel. It is so, prequel to the prequel. Why wouldn't you love it? That's true. Yeah. yeah. I, I hope this is a, a new leaf because I think we have previously on the show with like even like book marketing and stuff, we've been a little a little bit like, hey, come on, we we need a little more. We need a little a, a little more intentional press. Like push your stuff a little more, get in front of people's eyes. Like this is the gig you have now. And I think I've yeah. seen like the Star Wars Twitter admin is so active. Like they're sending people Yord Horde stickers, and it's only like within a week of it existing. They send influencers stuff like that that are talking about the show. They're putting up shorts every day. Like we're getting to know how they got into care. And again, we're not even halfway through the season yet. Like, do you think this is just an? Do you think this will carry? Do you think we're going to keep getting more stuff, or do you think this is just an initial push to kind of see how it performs? Mm. I think they'll keep doing it. I mean, it's weirdly enough, after tonight, we're halfway through. Yeah, right? yep. I mean, and they clearly oh, shot okay. all this stuff and planned it ahead of time. I mean, yeah, so we're right. halfway through and they're doing. I don't think they quit. I like yeah. it, and I hope Plus they don't they like that. Yeah, they I don't know. Bookend it either. They can, you know, they can go backwards or forwards in time because nothing's been written really. Um, yeah, outside of the High Republic, I mean, you can make your own stories. Yeah, she has Leslie Headland, the creator, has said that she, if she had her druthers, it would be a three season show. She mm. says she has ideas. Mm. For, for three seasons. And I'm like, and I also, that is something we've asked for a while of like a director or creator who has a finite story in their head. Yeah. Like, I, that would be pretty mm-hmm. cool. It would have been better if they came out the gate with that. Yeah. I think. Untested. It's, yeah. Untested, I guess. But it's do doing we, well. I mean, the numbers are, are similar to Ahsoka. If it's three seasons, do we find out who the acolyte is by the end of season one? Yes. That's a good question. Yes. Yeah, I think so. I complete. I, I think there will be a. Any theories? My, clowning, if you will. Oh, clowning. clowning. Speaking of, that's what they do on Bounty Hunt. Yeah, they yeah. Clown. We've mentioned it a couple of times. Clowning. Seriously, go subscribe to Bounty Hunt. It's it's a weekly podcast. It's on all your podcast <laughs> platforms. They have such good theories, and they go so deep with them, which I appreciate. Of like having, it's very Taylor Swift esque. Of like, no, this is the logic I have, and I can find it. Um, my, not even a clown theory. My legitimate theory. Yeah, as as we, as we as we get ready to honestly watch this next episode together, my legit theory is that the big master is Al Pacino. Kamir, Jason from The Good Place. I think he's living a double life. Al Pacino. I think he's that he him. is actually the master. No way. But I I know that that's my that's my theory. And I think that the acolyte is uh I think I think May is the acolyte. I'm I'm not overthinking it. I think it is 
literally she is an acolyte of the dark side <clears throat> and they're going to have to figure out how to bring her back. Now, if each season is a new acolyte, that's cool. They're going to get more of an anthology, like a Knives Out kind oh. of thing where Benoit Blanc <laughs> is the same, but it's a, it's a different case. That'd be fun. That would be cool. But that's my theory. I don't have any theories. Nothing? I don't, I don't have any theories. I, don't, I, think, I think that uh, it might not be anyone else in the show. I think it might be that we just haven't met yeah. the Sith yet. Just haven't met you yet. Boom, boom, ba, do, do, do. Boom, boom. Wow. Yes. Thanks, nice. Eric. Now we're going to get demonetized. Oh, dang it, because it sounded so <laughs> much like Michael Mubley. Just like it. Just don't like say it. his name. Just it's like it. Michael Mubley. I messed it up. <laughs> <laughs> Charles was I, uh, drinking a bubbly, so. I was. A Mubley? I, uh, I, uh, I, <laughs> I think this whole Acolyte thing is like a ruse. I think it's still Rule 2 stuff. I think it's mm-hmm. still like Sith Master. Yeah. And like, do you remember how, uh, I'm trying to think of a good example of this. Palpatine had lots of acolytes. Yeah. And so did Plagueis. Yeah. And so did like it, like Sidious. It, like his I mean, apprentice was... Sidious had Maul. The rule yeah. of two yeah. is more Maul. of a loose, I know. a loose thing. There's always more than two. Oh, the <laughs> Sith would never break rules. No. Well, I mean, technically all the Inquisitors are kind of acolytes, too. Yeah. I mean, they yeah. often use the Force and the Dark. The word to be, acolyte To be fair, my, my created player, Darth Charles, did follow the rules pretty closely <laughs> in one of those... <laughs> Kotor video games. Naturally. Darth Charles. Darth <laughs> Charles. Real? It's not what? real. It's called a callback. It's called a yeah. callback. Yeah, Charles, that would be ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, that would that would <laughs> really be silly. Did you ever use uh <laughs> you ever use Darth in your name? Like in a, in a Darthals? Like a screen name? <laughs> Darthals? Like like in Kotor, for example, a role playing game where your choices matter. You name oh. your character Darth Charles. And then every time you're talking to, like, you get into the into the Jedi Order, and they're like, "Welcome, Darth Charles." This is that's, not at all that's suspicious. Not, that's not suspect. <laughs> this is not at all suspicious. I did I'm name my uh, my swear. I did name my trainer in in Pokemon Red version badass. So they're like, <laughs> "Welcome, badass." And I was like, I was a kid. I'm like, this is so cool. Oh man, I, we, I got in trouble as a kid because my best friend named his town in Animal Crossing Dick Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> What are we doing? <laughs> what are we... True story. Oh, oh God. Right. That, that, that explicit tag is just like hovering and just like waiting, <laughs> waiting behind the line. <laughs> we both got in trouble for it, but then he didn't change it. We just kept playing Animal Crossing together. I would go visit his town. It was, he just kept it the same, even though we got in trouble. What a rebel. It was. Wow. That was it. Gosh, never, well, get, never you forget You can't that. change it. Yeah, yeah, you can't. can't. I don't, I don't, that's that's probably what happened. You can't change it. His, mom, his, mom was like, his mom was like, you have to change your name. He's like, I can't. I'm, I'm so invested yeah. in the place. Like, <laughs> it's like them saying, like, you have to quit after this level. It's like, it's an online game. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, not that it's going to be any higher than that take. Corey, any theories of, uh, <laughs> of yours? Especially? No, no. I think... Uh, I Sticking think with rule two? It would, be, it would be surprising if we saw Plagueis or anything. We kind of reverse engineered the timeline uh, uh, like two yeah. weeks ago. Oh, God, yeah. Plagueis is either not born or a baby. Yeah. I want May to be his master so that exactly. all the edgelords just want to Jump off bridges. Yeah, Plagueis, that would be hilarious. Plagueis, yeah, exactly. Plagueis Wait, is, a black woman with lesbian moms raises Plagueis. <laughs> like, can you just imagine? <laughs> that would be fun. I would feel so bad because a manless Denberg would absolutely get death threats, and they would be terrible. I mean, she probably but, is already. Let's be yeah, clear. it's true. It's all blocked. That would be amazing. That's yeah. what I would. That's Plagueis what I want more like than little, anything. like a little kid, and then. Uh, Palpatine doesn't show up for a long time. Yeah, but we can time jump. I don't care. Yeah, no. If you if we time <laughs> jump the acolyte final season into the Palpatine being an acolyte of the dark side, and that's oh, how it ends. Man, that would make me very happy. That'd be gorgeous. What a cool thing to do. Plagueis is phenomenal. Just mostly canonize that book. Yeah, that's what they should do. It's on. I feel like Plagueis and Bane are always on the outskirts of like being canonized. Like they they keep flirting with it. Mm. If I could choose any books to canonize, it would probably be those. Yeah, and. Yeah, probably those. Bane Trilogy. Bane Trilogy is my favorite Legends books. Yeah, I agree. Wes, what you think? Any theories you got? No, big ones. I just want some familiarity behind who the, the big bad is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Something that kind of brings it full circle or, mm-hmm. you know, just gets us some kind of familiarity between like the Sith and or something that yeah. we've always learned about, watched and all that stuff. Yeah. So, hopefully it's like nothing brand new and you're just like, damn. Yeah. Now I gotta figure out how that would be. Oh no, no he's a Draken. But I do like, <laughs> like but I do no. like that we don't really know the fates of anybody. Yes. Anybody. I mean when's, the, when's the last time that we Nobody. had a show like that? We haven't. Well Mando didn't start, I guess, but like Except now it's for Andara, right? 
<laughs> no? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we know that's oh, vain. Dara, man, she's yeah. That's a good oh, point. Oh, man, that was so funny seeing that happen <laughs> yeah. on Slack. Oh, my God. But, yeah, I think there's there's a really cool <laughs> moment of I, I of him pulling out the red lightsaber at the end of the first episode or whatever I think is very key. And I think the only way that this show could make me feel like, eh, with how it works, because the writing I, I have trusted so far, it's really leading us on a good path. I do want an answer by the end of the first season of if this is a Sith and if it is, how are we skirting around the line about Sith hasn't been seen? Mm. It could be anything. I don't care what it is. If it's like they haven't been seen, it's like, oh, do you think the Jedi would lie? Or you think, or you think like, we got to burn this evidence? Like, whatever it is, I don't care. I just w- want to know a definitive answer. And I think based on how it's going, based on how Leslie Headland has talked about the Sith, she, she had the, that interview you sent us earlier today in Slack about her and Dave Filoni talking, she's like, I love the Sith. She name drops Sith a she bunch. Does. So she knows what she she's does. doing. <clears throat> so they I think that's exciting. They had, nobody else has name dropped Sith. Though, right? No, 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 no. So it might not even be Sith. Could Might be, not be. It could be a droid, for all we know. Could be. Could that be. That could be, be part of D-Squad. That'd be fun. That'd be great. The droid. It's well, why why we got to label it? it has got a little frog in his Why do we got to label this person? Frog man with his red lights over. Everything's around. March well, forward, Ben. <laughs> one of us will be right, um, or none of us will be right. But overall, I think it's really fun that this uh, this product this year. It's really fun to love Star Wars again, like Tuesday nights are Star Wars nights, and uh, and it is nice to remember that this is a uh, still a very new phenomenon, and I'm I love being excited about it again. Yeah, we never stopped. We just were a little less, a little more quiet about it. I guess. Yep. We loud now, baby. And we will be back every week talking about this stuff next week. I haven't told these guys yet in as many terms. But I'm going to say it now because we got to lock it in. We got to have plans. We're going to talk about Charles's personal health history. We absolutely <laughs> are as we get into oh Star Wars Outlaws. Next week, we're talking about Outlaws a little bit. We got a bunch of gameplay um, last week. And uh, we haven't talked at all about that show really in depth or that game really. Uh, Charles, unfortunately, will not be able to make himself. So uh, now that you know that. We don't know that. We, 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 we don't know that. We, we, I don't Charles, know that. There's going to be a preset character you can play. His name's going to be Charles. That's what's going to happen. Charles. <laughs> it looks just like you. I mean, Cal Kestis. Would you, would you Cal Kestis is weirdly <laughs> like you, bro. It's like close enough. He doesn't, like, he doesn't still like be. Yeah, you're like, you got red in your hair. Yeah, like I have a reddish blonde. You said more, not anymore. All right. Or not as much. Right. Cal, Charles. Anyways, Darth Charles. Darth, Darth Charles. Charles. All right, we'll see you next week for that, everybody. As a reminder, if you want more deep dives on this show, go into the Bounty Hunt podcast, wherever you get your podcast. It is audio only. It is Oz, JG, Jacob, and a rotating cast of people. It's a fantastic show. Make sure to subscribe there. And for this, if you had a good time, like and subscribe to this video or wherever you get your podcast. Give us a review. Tell people that you like the show. We're going to be back talking all Star Wars. And again, thank you all for the feedback you give about this show. We love being the voice of the community that we've created. And we love you all so very much. So until next time, keep enjoying the Acolyte. And as always, may the Force be with you.